Taurus, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. Like always, these are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may or may not resonate, so take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, what's going on, please, for the Taurus Collective? Show me the Taurus Collective. Show me Taurus. What's going on, please, for Taurus? Show me Taurus. Show me Taurus. Decided after your message, we're going to have a little coffee and snack, okay? I need my snacks. Tor I know you know. Who am I talking to? I know you know. See? D I'm going to need my coffee and snack pretty soon. <laughs> just, you just almost wiped me out right there. Oh, no, Taurus. What? Overarching energy of the devil. No. No. No, no, no. 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 Okay, it's better. I don't know what that's about, but you are showing me you want to open up. Uh, good. You want to get out of that? Yes. Temperance, time is needed, patience. There's a particular discovery in you that's yet to be made. It's going to take some time. It's going to be some healing. In the Ten of Cups, there's something in you that would like to emotionally expand beyond whatever it is you've been experiencing or feeling or is running contrary to the principles of healing and loving the self and being open. Uh, this is what we would like to do. This is where we'd like to be. And it's beautiful. Okay? It's beautiful. Absolutely. 100%. It's very healthy. It's lovely. It's supportive. It's open. It's just that beautiful blast of energy. Temperance pulls it back. So it says it's not so immediate. It's going to take some time. But healing does take time to get you into a better place. First, we got to deal with this guy. Okay. All right. Let's 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 start right there. Dare I look? Dare I look? You're like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You see the bottom line, Christine? It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's what you say. That's how you start. That's how you start. And then you're like, this direction? That direction? This direction, too? Yeah. Show me that devil. Oh boy. Show me the devil, please. What's going on? Show me that devil. Show me the devil. Show me the devil, please. Real quick. Okay. The star. Seven of Pentacles. The world. Oh. There was something in you that was growing for a while. It took time. Okay. It's Taurian energy. It's not a surprise. And the star, it was very important to you. Dreams, hopes, desires. And you achieved so much of it. You have achieved so much of it with Seven of Pentacles. Here's the problem with Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> There's growth there. We attended a particular garden and we got results. We got results for a while until we stopped getting results. And here's the tricky bit about the Seven of Pentacles. Is it a garden still worth tending? Because you got growth before, it suggests you might still. Right? Depending on environment, time, conditions, contribution. Or it can stagnate. That's why the Seven of Pentacles is tricky. How do you know which is which? That way you can waste the least amount of time. Can there still be growth in this? Can it still be a productive garden? Or is it giving me as much as it can get? You're showing me a star that has given you as much as you can possibly get from it. It cannot give you or yield unto you any more results than it already has. It upsets you. Because you understand to some extent that you're going to have to part ways with it. The world. It hasn't claimed it yet. It's provoking your fear. So with the devil here. You know. I'm seeing him in the sense of I can't give this up. It's fear. It's fear when we have like a death grip like that. That's all fear. It's all the devil. Especially that touring energy that feels it has to hold on to everything. When in fact that's usually your biggest challenge. Is to know when to let things go. I.E that unproductive garden and it's proving more and more unproductive every day and the reason you're afraid to let it go is because you put a lot of attachment to it in terms of value this was important to me Christina it's a long-reaching star it's a long-reaching vision this this has never not been it's been with me so long I can't I don't remember anything else right it's a dream that was with you but that dream however far it went whatever that star looked like to you Okay, in terms of desire and longevity for that long vision, yeah? 
It went so far. And in reality, too. It shows up in reality. You got results from it and still it stopped yielding to you. And you're like, give me more of that dream. It's my dream. Damn it, don't you know that? You're supposed to give to me. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Why aren't you giving me more? Because whatever that star is, it's run its course. And it's hard for you to accept. It's a fear thing. If I desire something so much and I get something out of it, I don't want to part ways with it. And that keeps a lot of underdeveloped Tauruses from ever becoming developed because you're afraid inherently of losing what it is you put yourself into. So that's how an underdeveloped Taurus often stays one. But a developed Taurus will see this process and be like, it's run its course. I can only get so much from this and I know it. I can be a developed Taurus and be a strong Taurus and understand that my Ace of Pentacles is meant to go somewhere else now. And whatever shape that takes to you, I have no idea what the hell this is. I, it's Honey, it's got three majors in and of its own right, but with the implication of real-world results that suggest you know what you're going to get from this by now. It will not improve and it will not yield more fruit. But it's been with you so long, like I said, you're afraid to let it go. And that's fear. It's straight up fear. That's straight up devil bullshit. Don't let it go, Taurus. If you let it go prematurely, it's not premature. You've had enough time to see the results for yourself. But if you let it go prematurely, you'll lose. It might give you more later. You don't know. Hold on to it forever. It keeps you from moving forward. It keeps you from really putting yourself into something that could be a real viable star to you. Something else. Anything else. That's what the, his, his, his only job, honey, the devil's only job is to be a dick, okay? If we could change his name from devil to dick, I think people would get the point a lot better. Because, <laughs> honey, we just, you would think the devil's impressive enough. It's like, meh, no. But if we called him dick, I think people would be like, oh, that's what a dick does. A dick has dick moves. Yes. <laughs> that's his only job is fear. Patterns. Don't look at it, though. Don't look at it. We want you to keep doing it. I want you to keep doing it. And that's that's inside. That's inside. So I don't know what that is to you that's run its course. I just know it's 3D and it was your dream and many of you are still convinced it is even though it hasn't given to you for a long time. And it's on the verge of cycling. And if you do, well, there's more to be had. But will you open yourself up towards it? That's the trick. I would love to break that down further. I really would, but we don't have that kind of time. In fact, I've already lingered on this way too long. Show me that Ten of Cups, please. Show me that Ten of Cups. Show me that Ten of Cups. Emotional support system. Your immediate emotional circle, family, friends, people who are close to you. Yeah. Show me that Ten of Cups, please. Show me that Ten of Cups. Uh, could be direct family orientation. Sure. The Hanged Man, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands. Yeah, you're wondering about emotional expansion. Then you go on a Hanged Man. When you stop being afraid of giving this up, whatever this is, your heart space goes into a place of expansion, hypothetical expansion. You ponder. You ponder. You got some sevens in your life, honey. In other words, your sevens, the sevens look like this. You've gone so far. Stop. And for some people, they're happy to stop until they're not. Whatever the star is, you expected to extract a hell of a lot more from it than you did. But it's at the point that it's been with you for so long that you're afraid to keep it up. But once you stop listening to that little fear guy, the devil, you go into the hanged man, but in a positive way. Could I get more? Oh. We start thinking in a positive direction with that page of wands. We take it out of the fear, we take it into the potential. If I give this up, Christina, I might experience emotional expansion. What does that look like? Because apparently your emotions on this subject have only gone so far too. Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. You've hit a kind of stagnant zone in something that was important to you. And now you're learning perhaps it could be better. You're learning to reevaluate what the star is. You're wondering if it can't be so much bigger, better, and more emotionally beneficial to you. Happy is what we're saying. Happiness stores. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, so I was like, let me just say happiness. Okay, that gets to the point. Something that can enfold you 
into a larger construct where you feel good, more supported, more loved, whatever. You're thinking about this. Hmm. Let's keep cracking. Let's see that fool. And that's if we stop seeing this as a fear of an ending and the potential to open up towards something else. Time? Yes, of course, time. Um, that goes without saying. But this is far-reaching, guys. This is this is not over the next week. This is some far-reaching stuff here. Show me that fool, please. Let's do one more. Show me that fool, please. It's like I could. Yes, you could, honey. Yes, you could. 100%. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. There's that dang seven again, but it's a different kind of seven. You're showing me a cautious, very you. So I don't want that to discourage you, but then again, it's you, so I don't know why you would be discouraged. <laughs> You're showing me a cautious, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just, okay. <laughs> so there's the fool, and like for you with Taurus, we're, we're, we're gonna, Christina, we're gonna dial that fool back, okay? There's fool, let's like maybe, let's, let, let's, 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 Let's dial him back a little bit. I'm into that energy. I want to be open. Take a risk. Fresh start. Fresh energy. Fresh eyes. Fresh spirit. Right? The fool has no agenda. He just knows he wants to be open to life. And you're like, yes, that, that, but I'm um, Taurus. We're going to dial that back a little bit. And we're going to show cautious. <laughs> Opening up. You're, you're showing me you want to open or enfold more emotionality into your foundation with that Ten of Pentacles. So that tells me you're already established. You've been there, you've done that, you got that particular gig down. In terms of you being founded, resourceful, all that. So this is the far-reaching consequences of our life, the Ten of Pentacles, i.e. the real constructive effort of family, friends, career, community, all that jazz is in there. You're like, caution, I would like to enfold that Two of Cups. Okay. So this, it kind of reminds me of baking, delicate baking. You have to delicately fold elements in, otherwise your cake or whatever it is you're making will collapse. And you're saying, I want to delicately fold this into my world. That's the first thing I thought of, I swear to God. Yes, 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 open, new journey. Okay, I thought about it, and you did. I would like something more emotionally comprehensive. Thank you. Just just at my pace, please. So you, <laughs> and so you are. I don't care. I don't care how you do it. I don't care what your method is. Just so long as you are doing what's right for you. And if you're going to be open, be open. Okay. I know some of you are very afraid of letting this go, but once it's done, you actually start to, to flow into this pretty pretty beautifully, okay? So I don't know who that Two of Cups is. I don't even know if you know, okay? I just know that it's further out, like I said, time. But yeah, yeah. You'd like to unfold more emotionality. You want to be part of something much larger. Feel more to the point as part of something much larger. Let's see that temperance, please. I like your caution. D -d 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 -d. We're talking about my world, Christina. Okay? I have to be careful. I know. I know. I know, Taurus, honey. Love you for that. Okay? <laughs> I know. I know. I like how you pulled yourself aside. Like, let's think about this. If I give this up, could I be part of something bigger? The answer is yes. Um, but you already know that. You already know that. Let's see that temperance, please. I didn't know how... F I don't know how long that's going to take you, though. Between your hanged man, your sense of caution, and you still haven't fully parted ways with this. Put it this way, I don't want to hear any cross-watcher Sam waiting on Taurus. Uh, no. I don't recommend that. <laughs> Not because I'm an asshole. It's because I know Taurus. It's like the number one complaint Taurus gets. I'm still waiting on Taurus. That was your idea. <laughs> they didn't ask you to. Their process is their process. Oh, so many people are going to be pissed off with me. I'm saying, hey guys, go other where, go somewhere else if you want the sweetness. I got, I have a sense of humor, but I, I'm the salty person. I'm the savory. Okay, there it is. That's the truth of it. No Taurus in the right mind would ask you to wait, and if they are, they're an underdeveloped kind of an asshole Taurus. But. Okay, if you choose to wait for Taurus and they didn't ask you to, which again, they shouldn't have done, but if you choose to wait again, that's your choice because this Taurus is showing me it's very slow process over time. And Ace of Wands, Chariot, Ten of Cups, you badass, you suck 
Octo badass. Taurus is badass. This is a developed one. We're not looking at a little shaky scared bull today. No, no, no. We are looking at one. Yeah, that took you a minute to unfold and come to that conclusion. Blah. We've addressed it. You started to get curious. You opened up about the emotional expanse. Could it be part of something more? You concluded yes, just at your own time and at your own particular Taurian pace. Boom, baby. What else is there? Case closed. I love this. You showed me a fast forwarded. I typically don't get that for you, which is interesting. A lot of folks will show me fast forward. You typically don't. You typically show me saturation. This is what I'm dealing with right now. I have never seen your sign hit that fast forward button so far. When the universe is for you. <laughs> or maybe you started to take me seriously about don't give me the heavy stuff on your <laughs> on your shorter ones. I'll save it for the in depth. Maybe you hit that fast forward button for me. I don't know. But in temperance, you are going to be so happy to find yourself in that beautiful situation with the Ten of Cups. You got it, babe. Ace of Wands, Sherry, you're on your way. You're on your way in time. In time. And it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at you go. Look at you glow. Look at that. I don't know how long this is going to take. I really don't. You've shown me this is still in play. It's not done. We're still dealing with the fear of it. To being open. Curious. Engaging. But cautious. To I got it all. Yes, you do. Oh. Yes, you do got it all. You got it all. Or you will do. The Taurus I'm looking at, look at you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And it took time. Hell, even Temperance is under that deck too. Okay, that's enough of that. It's, that's enough of that. I love this. I love this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Don't. laughs> Yay. I am sorry though. I am sorry. It's a hard day. It is a hard day when you realize that star is not for you. Or it hasn't been for a long time and... You're afraid to part ways with it, or it's afraid to part ways with you, um, but that makes you more obligated to do what's in your best interest, not the opposite. So do remember that. A developed Taurus needs to know this. Um, you know, at adjudication under the moon. Okay, so for some of you, this has been some background noise to your energies for a while, but it's been under the moon. The sense of fairness, correctness. What's the right thing to do? That's been under your some of your, like I said, running background energies for a while. And it's not something you, yeah. And is it over? I oh, know. I told you, honey, it's a hard day. It's a hard day. I know it's a hard day. It's a hard day when you have those thoughts and you really have to contemplate them. But remember, the devil's job, Dick's job, is to keep you stuck. That's what a dick does. said what I said and it's 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 there there it is and you're not letting him do his job anymore you got confrontational with yourself about what a dying star is and um that hope and dream that was once so important to you and you could you knew what it was and it was so sharp you understand it's on its exit and it cannot yield to you any more than it already has you know this even on, on the emotional level too so not just in your 3d on the emotional level it's like that page of wands says, it could have gotten so much better than this a long time ago. I could have been involved in so much more a long time ago. I should have been, I could have been so much more emotionally expanded a long time ago if I had just seen this and admitted it to myself. That kind of thing. In hindsight's twenty twenty. these things always are. But I love, I love your process. It's very classically Torian, but developed Torian. Very excellent. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. Time is on my side, Rolling Stones. I know, Torian energy is very much like that. Time's on my side. It's on my side. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> and meanwhile, months pass by, years can pass by, and you're like, everything's fine. Time's still on my side. Uh, you guys are, you guys are interesting. Let's put it that way. Crown the success, pride as you should be. Yes, you will have accomplished a lot by the time you get to where you need to be. You will have accomplished a great deal. I see you very emotionally satisfied. There is no hesitation in your direction. You are so inspired. So here we have the fire as well as the water water. You are so inspired, turned on. This is my direction. This is my movement. This is where I was supposed to be this whole fucking time. What? It's so like I said, hindsight's twenty twenty, And it's going to take you time. But it's beautiful when you arrive. You are just so loved. You're just so loved in life. And you just, it's like you're thrilled to be there. You know. You are thrilled to be there. Yeah, you're wearing that crown. Okay. Cunning still. Wolf is in reverse. Okay. And in this respect, I have to agree. The cunning and the stealth, it's like I can't keep finding ways to bring this together and, and also not listening to that devil energy anymore, which again is very cunning and very stealthy. 
got to stop listening to that one. Okay. You wear the crown in this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. As I was say, thank you, spirit. You have the key. Yes. To completely lock or unlock these situations. 100%. That's what real ownership is, guys. That's what real development is. You have the key to understand that particular dream. Star is cycling out. Do not listen. Oh, when did you... I don't even know when this happened, but yes, I can, obviously it stands to reason. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay. I did see that when you carefully, delicately fold in that new essence with the two of cups into your foundation. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. A personal... Well, yeah, there you go. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. Cancerian energy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right about there. Okay. Anything else here, please? It's time to take action. It will be. And communication is key. New moon in Gemini. New, new. The emphasis here being on new. Okay. Yeah, communication is key. It's time to take action. You'll know when the time is right. Of course you will. Okay. But yes, it will reach resolution. I want you to pay attention to your emotionality around your lunar eclipse here. If I, yes, lunar eclipse. The next lunar eclipse, which is this week. I believe it's the 28th. I don't have the calendar in front of me. Uh, but it will be in your sign. I want you to pay attention to your running background emotions during that time. There's going to be something in there for you. Okay. It's not the devil. It's the core stuff. Okay. We have the letter P. Okay. We have the medallion of Scorpio. Is it happening now? Could be a confirmation of time. For this process, I don't quite know. That's it. The letter D. <laughs> Q. And then we also have the medallion of Pisces. Okay, Taurus honey, I hope this helped you. This was a great read. Uh, I really actually did like... <laughs> I thought I knew the direction you were going to take me on. You're like, no. <laughs> and you went another way altogether. <laughs> that was great. I loved it. When you surprise me, you surprise me. I'll give you that. I will give you that. That's the trick about you. You guys are so consistent, steady, 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 until you're not, and then you throw everybody off. And you know it. You know it. Know it. Put in the comments. I hope this helped you. Take care. Be well.